Are you a loser? Do you have no life and you want to learn how to make a GFX? Well, follow this tutorial. Bruh. I'm glad to see, my friend. You, you will know how to make one. Okay, so first what you want to do is download Roblox Studio. I'll put it in the description. Don't worry, don't, don't, don't worry, it's not a virus. It's not a virus, okay? So then you go in the toolbox, and then plugins, and then you type in load character, and um, it will pop up. And it's not it's not the, ex not the expensive one, but you are too poor to afford. It's the free one, right over there. Yeah. I so then just click install. I already have. So then you close toolbox, you go up, and you go on plugins. Yep. And then it will pop up right there, load character. And once it's loaded, you then type the username of the person you want to make a GFX. I'm just going to use my name just for the sake of it. And then once you see the avatar, press press spawn R6 or spawn R50, but I would recommend spawn R6. And there, there you go. You see it. So then you just close it like I just did. And I repeat, this is the most crucial part. And if you don't get this right, then I don't feel bad. You should have listened. So then you click the drop down next to your username. And then you click on any item that you have. Um, I'm just going to click uh, my, uh, my cross necklace. Why not? So we right click it. Yep. And then we want to right click it. Um, it will show export selection. Then you click export selection. And then, yeah, File Explorer shows up. And then you just save it to any folder you want. Um, I'm saving it over here, cross necklace, right like that, and boom. Then we delete that item and we continue this process with the other items. So then what you do is that you right click our avatar export selection and we save it as my avatar or avatar as you like as you wish so when we save that make sure there's no other items with the avatar as well so now we're gonna use blender not that type of blender the app blender so all you do is press open and there's this thing called a paint rig that you need that is essential to do to have if you want to do it if you want to do gfx i'm going to link that in the description you download it and then you open it with blender and um, i have so many rigs just do, do the one that i put in the description maybe if i find any but yeah <sighs> so you'll see this pink blocky character what you want to do is zoom it in um on over here like where the texture stuff is so like that when you press this file emo um, like emoji like picture when you go into the, doc the document or place where you save the files i can't find mine what the hell okay it's right there it'll show us a picture so the one that looks like the most recent one that you've done you click on it yeah why won't it work so now you can see your roblox avatar so you have to scroll the textures up you don't need that anymore then you want to import your roblox items inside of blender so you press file import wavefront.obj and it will show up then you go on where you placed and saved the items um where can i find it okay here's here so you click one of the items i'm just gonna click this one for some reason it's the wrong colour. It's supposed to be brown but it's black. If I find out why, I'll put it in the pinned comment. Um, I guess we gotta charge it. So um you just put all the other items like the necklace, the hair, and then the blindfold. And also if you want to know how to position it, just use the move button like I'm using right now for the blindfold. So then you're gonna wonder, a pot still, how do you make a pose? Don't worry. I got you. I'm gonna go on the right side. You're gonna scroll up. Yeah, I'm just gonna enlarge it so it looks better. You're gonna scroll up and you're gonna see this thing called Robo. Click on Robo and then you go all the way down to the bottom left 
and you press pose mode because you want to create a pose then you can click on any part of the body and start making some poses i recommend using the rotate thing so you can make your pose is way better now to make your gfx get some lighting you have to go on this globe thing on the right hand side my mouse is so slow you press it and then you click on color environment texture in the middle and then yeah and there's this um website called polyhaven which i'm going to link in the description so you can get your lightning basically it's just going to make your gfx shine instead of it just being so dark and gloomy exactly like you so now we're on polyhaven what we're going to do is press hdr rise why is my internet so slow so once you find a hdri that fits your lighting and how bright you want your gfx to be just just click it so then you press download i've already have one i don't know why i'm downloading it and then once you have it in downloads you scroll down to find it where mounds are right there so we press it and then we go on to this film thing where is it it's right there it's called render you go on film go on transparent good then you press this circle this sphere right down there and that's gonna make our gfx look bright why okay okay yeah beautiful amazing sexy it's good so you're probably running that's over but it's not Bruh. it literally isn't so um you have to go at the bottom left corner object modes and adds and then you'll see this camera thing go on camera now press n on your keyboard the letter n and then it why is it not working oh my days my computer sucks my computer actually sucks okay then you have to go on view and camera to lock and then you just escape out of it and you press this camera thing right there that camera angle why am i glitched so you use the um you use to zoom out um middle mouse button and control zoom out and you can use shift and middle mouse button to like move up and down just to get the best angle for your gfx so don't mind me i'm just gonna do something So when you finish your angle, hold on, this is not good. Um, you click on the top left render, and then you click render image. And just yeah. And then your GFX is loading. And then once it is done, you should go on image. Oh my days! Why is it okay? Now you go and save. Oh, I hate this so much. It's so slow. Okay, no mind. It's not really. Maybe it is. All my days. All my days. Can I say? Okay. So then you can just um type whatever you want it to be called. I'm just gonna call it tutorial because it's a tutorial. And then you just save the image. And then you're done. Your first ever GFX is finished. Um, subscribe for more tutorials. I might do multiple rigs and yeah um farewell i guess